morning. You are still watching your favorite channel. That is Y254 channel on your favorite show. Wait, favorite, favorite show on your favorite channel. There we go. English has almost left the building. So before it does, <laughs> at Y254 Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. Hashtag of the day is WCW because we crush on our queens on a Wednesday. Or you can use the generic Y in the morning. And it is a very, very special day. It is hashtag International Women's Day IWD. And we are feeling some type of way since it just happens to be on a Wednesday. Yay! Eighth day of March 2023. My name is Valentine or at color me val now if you just let me just say hi to a couple of people who are already socializing with us on our socials see what i did there mm -hmm. dorka smash i see you Tika makungeni well presented uh to vai to vai junior <laughs> just keep up the good work dorkas ule warikiji uyo mumama and i manage 3k a salon i don't know if you've seen that meme that that has uh, the, the amount someone should be making so that you ask for x amount for salon come on 3k that's that's a lot of money making Droni dre says happy women's day um a wero a keyboard is never shot me that tuned keep z not a mama who i see you take a massive to kondani jela mercy says happy women's day back at you mercy fundi wathamos not a mama my young too all right mohammed ali says happy women's day to my beloved mom and afeni shakur mother of tupac shakur love these moms very much all right emma and james are top top fan a woman is so much more than just a human being she has the power to create a life to cope with so much pain and somehow always end up being the strongest one in the room how poetic happy women's day to all the goddesses out there that's very sweet and he says mombasa is tuned in i remember what to do and how to do it now without further ado i will allow my panel to introduce themselves kindly yes I feel like clapping for them hey <laughs> welcome to set welcome to studio yes this is Y254 Karibu Sana this is this is almost like home I'm here every day Monday <laughs> to Friday <laughs> please introduce yourself what is your name okay good morning good my morning. name is Jenny mm -hmm. and I'm a girl get from Madagascar mm -hmm. we are in an exchange uh, who called the yes program in Kenya mm -hmm. yes stand for youth exchange soft to soft it's an international program so we have uh, 60 participants this year. So we are five in Kenya. We are among these 60 participants. Mm -hmm. So we are hosted by Kenya Girl Guide Association, mm -hmm. who is the largest uh, organization for girls and the young women in Kenya. Mm -hmm. How yeah. is it? How is our food? Do you like our food? Yeah, I like chapati very much. <laughs> yes. Hey, Shonarwa. Shout out to Shonarwa. <laughs> What's your name? Um, my name is Agnes Muhindo Achulere. I'm from Uganda Girl Guides Association, mm -hmm. also currently being hosted by Kenya Girl Guides Association. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it is a lovely time here in Kenya mm -hmm. and to be able to celebrate Women's Day here mm -hmm. with all the Kenyan uh, women out there who mm -hmm. celebrate you. How do you feel about, what's the difference between the atmosphere, I guess? between Kenya and Uganda. Do you feel at home or do you feel homesick? Um, I wouldn't say I feel homesick mm -hmm. so much, really. Okay, just maybe the difference with maybe some things. But guys, it's still East Africa. Still so Africa. <laughs> I haven't felt like there's a very big difference, especially with the weather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe just a couple of a few things. Um, I've noticed that uh, Kenya is so digital. They use M-Pesa cashless transactions ah you don't <laughs> have money transfer we do it but it's not so much like it is here in oh. kenya because i've noticed i can pay a matatu yes with them yes yes <laughs> yes hey yes it's, yeah. it's very in fact we we i find myself rarely walking around with cash which sometimes is problem so <laughs> yeah i have to pinch my ears <laughs> so welcome to the set ladies uh tell me what what do girl guys do just because sounds like something I used to do in high school. Okay, um, girl guides do a variety of things. Mm -hmm. um, I know basically, like you said, high school, mostly I think the thing that will come to people's minds is matching mm -hmm. and parades and all and that. And flag. And flags mm -hmm. and raising flags. Yes, uh, we do all that. Uh, but alongside that, as women, you see uh, girl guides have different sections. Uh, especially, uh, probably, I'll use an example of Kenya, which is most relatable to where we are right now. Mm -hmm. So you start with the rainbows, the brownies, the girl guides, the rangers. Uh, so those are different sections of girl guides. Mm -hmm. 
because as a woman as you're growing up mm -hmm. you need different packages mm -hmm. as you're growing up mm -hmm. so we tackle different programs like free being me green tech generation menstrual hygiene mm -hmm. health so all these things uh as you're growing up we have different packages mm -hmm. as a woman because uh talk of free being me mm -hmm. so here uh we are educating the girl child to embrace herself you know uh these things that we grow up and you're looking at billboards and you're saying this woman is hot and and all that uh or the words they tell you as you're young as you're growing up you know as young kids there are things they tell us and it sticks to your mind mm -hmm. so you you find that maybe they're going to define a certain beauty standard and for you to feel beautiful you feel like until i achieve that mm. i'm not beautiful mm. so when we come in with free being me as a program mm -hmm. um we let the young girl explore herself mm -hmm. and embrace herself mm -hmm. so it helps her to be able to grow up knowing that i am beautiful and there is no beauty standard mm -hmm. because what is beauty everyone has a certain definition of beautiful mm -hmm. so i cannot necessarily be beautiful for everyone mm. but if i have accepted it mm. for myself mm -hmm. yes maybe i'm going to do my nails but when i know that yes i do have my beautiful nails mm -hmm. but i just want to enhance on what i already have mm -hmm. so when it comes to menstrual hygiene maybe there are parents out there that are not comfortable sharing about that kind of discussion mm -hmm. with a young girl but we will teach her that maybe you can do this when because it's a natural development for a woman mm -hmm. so and it comes with different things mm -hmm. talk of maybe growing breasts and all that and we shall tell her when it happens mm -hmm. it is no more mm -hmm. it is no more for you to it is okay maybe if you have an early development stage of 9 years mm -hmm. you're growing breasts it's fine mm -hmm it's still okay yeah. so we teach them like a lot of those things mm -hmm. and at the end of the day um you you you're free to actually go out there and explore all your full potential mm -hmm. while accepting the woman that you are oh, that's, that's it's quite lovely that's really <laughs> quite lovely see now i see you you're very prepared <laughs> no, I, just, I just want to add something uh -huh. what she have said. She has uh -huh. talked about uh, some package. Mm -hmm. So with those package, we are spread it all uh, over the world. Mm -hmm. That's why I said it's international because we are 10 million girl guiding for 152 countries. Okay, so for this program, it's um, it's a program where we can share our experiences, where we can train girls and the young women for those programs. She have talked about it. So we are like. Uh, 10 countries in Africa who part of this program and two from Asia Pacific. Mm -hmm. So during our six months and one year, we are going to train girls. We are from different countries. Mm -hmm. so we are going to train girls about the how to be confident, how to be safe online, how to be proud of our period. Mm -hmm. how t we are going also to teach them like how to make a reusable pads, how to, how to, how to reuse it like uh, not using the what's, what's another one what's the name of the another one ah uh, the disposable dis pad. the disposal parts <laughs> mm. yes okay mm. well that's that's quite i i feel like th especially with now social media coming mm -hmm. in the, there's such a definition of beauty like you said and there's so much pressure yeah. like where if i if i don't have that waist that looks like this and hips yeah. that go like that <laughs> if i don't have <laughs> hair that looks like hers i am not pretty you know <laughs> and it's, it's very beautiful that you're yes. teaching especially young girls so that they grow knowing themselves mm -hmm. all right so now in in um, now what how to, how to approach this okay because it is international women's day mm -hmm. uh, I, honestly guys i came prepared with a whole speech a whole one i was going to tell you about phenomenal women making fantastic moves in kenya currently but i caught myself and pinched my ears because charity begins at home so while we start with well, we start appreciating the women in our lives, uh, mm -hmm. as again, it is International Women's Day. I, let me go first so it's that okay. you feel a bit more comfortable, okay? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So it just so happens today on set, we, the majority of us are female. So let me just start with the gallery. The gallery has Elizabeth. Elizabeth <laughs> has Elizabeth. It has Sharon. It has Miriam. So I would like to appreciate all of them. First of all, Sharon, Sharon Ajowa Tunge, we don't speak much. I just don't have much to say sometimes. I, I know I talk a lot here, but sometimes I don't have much to say, but I really do appreciate you. And she, uh, she, stands, uh, she sits at the TX, TC, 
those letters, that one. And Elizabeth is our director of the day and Miriam is in charge of sound. Now these are very, 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 very phenomenal women and we appreciate you this International Women's Day. Now if you come down, now the camera operators, we have Lady Warui and she's also very, very phenomenal. She kind of, I don't want to say she inspires me because Kwa post, Apala was up, she'd be posting about the gym and every time I see it, I know, oh my God, I, I have not gone to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I should work out today. I really should work out today. <coughs> so that's one of the ways she inspires me. I've seen uh, Nelly. Nelly, guy, let me tell you guys. I'm hungry <laughs> all the time. All so the time. I don't okay. know what my problem is. And I don't know where the food goes to. <laughs> but it's like I'm hungry all the time. And Nelly just was so sweet today. After I complained <laughs> about how hungry I am, she, she gave me tea. She was so nice. So yeah, very big shout out to you, Nelly. And I will be continuing as we go on. But now... Tell me about someone in your life, a lady or a woman or a girl, who just inspires you or just makes you feel warm inside. Okay, okay. I want to share my... Okay, she's there. I want to thank uh, Alice. <laughs> I really appreciate what she did to me. The mm -hmm. first time I went in, I've gone in Kenya, so she was the one who is talking with me. I can share everything with her. Mm -hmm. Also, I have my coordinator. She's... <laughs> 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 Lynette, okay. Uh -huh. So, um, okay, she's the one of uh, our coordinator. Mm -hmm. She's the one, like, not our boss, but she's with us. So, I really appreciate she's like, um, she's older than us, but she feel like in the beat, like, she's always with us, whatever happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the another one is uh, a woman from my country. Mm -hmm. She was Rabi Salam. She was the one who fed with. Um, the human right and the, our independence on 1960. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I really appreciate what they did on the country, mm -hmm. how she sacrificed her life mm -hmm. for our independence. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, so I'll start with my mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, uh, you know, it's not that it's not that everyone has a mother as a friend. Mm -hmm. So me and my mom can actually have like conversation mm. like we are I don't know how they call it here in, in Kenya but how do you we say can it? say like banging KB like <laughs> <laughs> we can have that kind of conversation mm -hmm. yeah so I really appreciate and also the fact that she has tried to live her best you know to bring out like the best version of a woman in me mm -hmm. uh, yeah she supports me all the mm -hmm. way till here uh, also uh, I'm just appreciating everyone at Uganda Girl Guys Association mm -hmm. because yes they've helped to bring us to this place from our home associations mm -hmm. and then at Kenya Girl Guides hi <laughs> ladies uh, everyone Priscilla Lynette Leia I don't know who I've left out All of uh, Tandy <laughs> um, <laughs> bro Clarice <laughs> oh my god Lori <sighs> The one I've left out, uh, she'll just forgive me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, all those ladies have made uh, our stay in Kenya very beautiful. Like, we've not felt like we're really, really far from home mm -hmm. ever since we got here. Mm -hmm. And they've supported us through the program and helping us even to get here. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> Kenya Girl Guides Association, all the women there. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> the way you're talking about it makes me want to join. Yeah. Yes, join please us. come join all, us. No. <laughs> no. We are we are start, oh, we start um guiding mm -hmm. at three years. Three years old. Wow. Uh -uh. Till. So you can just till <laughs> I don't know when but till. it's for life, like yeah. it's a forever yes. and ever kind of relationship. Yeah. Yes. You can oh. join us. And it's voluntary. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Let's recruit her. <laughs> we can recruit you. <laughs> recruit me and then take me to Uganda and Madagascar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm there to travel. Yes. Let me ask you a question. And it's often said that we are o our own worst enemies, females. Like either we're competing for something or we're competing for attention from uh, men or guys or some thing of the other. Do you think it's true that we, are al we always have to fight within each other? Um, what I would say about that is um, basically with ourselves is we critique each other mm -hmm. quite a lot, maybe mm -hmm. in comparison to the men. Mm -hmm. We critique each other so much uh, in that uh, what maybe I feel is, is, is beauty. If I look at you right now and I feel like maybe uh, I'm looking at, at your nails and I'm not impressed, mm -hmm. then I just 
kill the whole image. Mm. I'm like, she's oh. not organized. She's wow. not like this. Mm-hmm. Y- you get. Uh, but I think this always starts from, like what I said, mm-hmm. what beauty standards they mm-hmm. have put in our heads mm-hmm. from when you're growing up, evolving, and then the friends that are around us. They may not even be your friends just because you met someone and you feel like they are very, very beautiful and you're following their mm-hmm. Instagram and they are telling you... Um, this is what you should be like. This is what you, you, you should you should attain by this age. This is how a beautiful woman is set out to be. This is the, the standard. You know, I think that's why at some point you end up uh, having maybe even like, uh, let's say maybe when it comes to like marriages and all that, because you're, you're standardizing that my man has to have a car. My mm-hmm. man has to have this, my mm-hmm. man. That was her story. So why are you putting it in, in your own story? Mm-hmm. So I think that's that's where the whole maybe mm-hmm. women kind of we we start to be like enemies to each other. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe even if something is wrong, I think it's okay for you to tell me. You need a redo. Like okay, do it politely. Don't throw it in my face around people. <laughs> <laughs> I like the how you put it. <laughs> In our country, there, there is a particular uh, law that makes sure that there is a certain number of women, even in parliament, that have seats in the decision-making process. Mm-hmm. Is that something that you can relate with? Are there, do you have female representatives in, in your government? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, in the government, all of the person that is um, a man, mm. but I had, uh, I remember there is a Juliana, he, he was the ex-ministry of uh, youth, mm-hmm. but she did the uh, good things. So I think she was the one who is fighting with women's rights mm-hmm. and, um, and the gender equality. Mm-hmm. Like a woman supposed to be in the government. Mm-hmm. Because before we had like, um, we, we are doing an election, mm-hmm. so there is a woman there, but they just neglect that she's not supposed to be a president. Mm-hmm. I guess so after after like uh, 20, 2012, they're starting like to put in women mm-hmm. in the governments. Mm-hmm. So now it's become like women should go there. Mm-hmm. So we have election this year. So mm-hmm. I think oh, oh. there there will be a woman in. Uh-huh. So I will elect the woman. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do you imagine that we w- we would be good leaders, or d- should we say that what they? They insinuate because they look at us females and, mm-hmm. okay, this, sorry, I had like two ideas come at me at the <laughs> same time. There's a school of thought that thinks that because we're feminine, that means we're going to cry about everything. So, mm-hmm. f- so for some reason, if we're put in parliament or any other office, we will be ruling based off emotions. Mm-hmm. Do you think that holds any water at all? And then uh, why you d- okay. process that mm-hmm. on the flip side is, now there are, peop- there are females who do not want to embrace the femininity because it, it, it kind of, society makes it look like if you're feminine, you're weak. Mm-hmm. So now you have to mm, look, have to be serious <laughs> all the time. <laughs> hey, you, you're not to sh- allowed to show any emotion or feeling at any one given point. Do you think any of these arguments are correct? Um, well, about I, what you said, mm. uh, I guess at the beginning, about the femininism and maybe... Okay, it's true. We are emotional beings, mm-hmm. which is true for mm-hmm. women. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, for me, I think you just have to find a way to strike a balance mm-hmm. between the two. Because, yes, you cannot l- put out your femi- your nature, your emotional part, but then you, you have to think logically at some point. Uh, I think that's where the, the issue of we, we have to always have, like, mentors or leadership, uh, maybe where the all those things are uh, kind of programs mm-hmm. where you embracing these things and i think that's where this whole uh digital comes in mm-hmm. because uh if these influencers that we actually because women we do a lot of social media mm-hmm. instagram and all that mm-hmm. the issue is we we go for the for the beauty for the music which is not bad mm-hmm. But yes, maybe it would be good to listen to, okay, so this woman has been influential and all that. Mm -hmm. What got her here? Mm -hmm. How does she manage to strike a a balance between this and this? Because no one is maybe a natural born leader. Mm -hmm. You, You find yourself evolving and developing. 
and actually you know uh even as girl guides we appreciate that because mm -hmm. that's one of the programs that we have mm -hmm. they teach you to be a leader and to do service mm -hmm. so you find that you're finding a way to strike a balance between your emotions mm -hmm and to take logical decisions. Because yes, maybe people are not going to tell you we are starving and then you start crying and, mm. and you're not giving them solutions. Mm -hmm. So why are they giving you the mandate to be to take that seat in mm -hmm. parliament? Why are they giving you the mandate to speak on their behalf? Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, and about the, the weakness part, uh, Jenny, would you <laughs> like to tackle that? Okay, so the weakness part, I think, uh, let, let me just go back with the emotions. Sometimes it's very difficult to to put away our emotion, uh, emotions. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because sometimes as women, we are working also, mm -hmm. as for example, our husband. But when we get home, mm -hmm. we are still working with our household chores. Mm -hmm. But the husband is just okay, put on the television, mm -hmm. watching a movie Could and relaxing, ah. <laughs> relaxing. Mm -hmm. But as far as we can't do that. Yeah. For example, we have our baby, we, we still have our dishes. Everything mopping the house, everything. So we can't, we can't put away. As for me, mm. <laughs> I can't put away my emotion or everything like that. So I can see just my husband sitting there, like, ah, why, why he didn't care how mm. for me? Okay, so that's that's sometimes my okay. I would go back with my weakness. Like, let me talk about my weakness. Mm -hmm. That's my first weakness. But mm -hmm. I can be like appreciate from those people influencer that mm -hmm. influence me to help me to go it has been part of your get also it's helped me a lot mm -hmm. as i said i've been a gaget since um six years old wow. so now it's um uh, almost 20 years i've been in mm. so it's helped me a lot like to avoid to make my weakness a strongest one mm -hmm. yes Oh, I like that. So <laughs> you're making your uh, your strength, uh, your weakness to be your strength. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Recently, we had a conversation. Okay, they, they, whew, I'm about to make you famous, Aziad Nasenya, as if you're not famous already. <laughs> so there's Jeez. this lady. Yeah, <laughs> you know who Aziad is. <laughs> oh, Aziad. Happy International Women's Day to Aziad Nasenya, by the way, <laughs> and Stephanie Ayata. So uh, Aziad, there is uh, she's been placed in a certain position for a certain committee as an influencer, and there was a bit of an uproar because people were complaining that why are you putting her there? She's not very who I want to <laughs> say capable. They they don't think she's very capable, and then someone accused her. Someone in, in, I think it was in Parliament, yes, yeah, someone in Parliament, mm -hmm. of course a man, mm -hmm. accused her of, of, accused the person who appointed her of mm -hmm. having a crush on her. That's ah. why she has been placed where she has been placed. So my question was, is why is it that if you're beautiful, that means automatically there's nothing in between your ears? Like, <laughs> your head is just a store for your teeth. Is that what mm -hmm. we're saying? As in, why? <gasps> Must you either be beautiful or smart? Can you not be beautiful and smart? And why do you have to work so hard to prove that you're smart if mm -hmm. you're beautiful? Why? Uh, well, I think <laughs> it's just a certain mentality. And I think the issue is maybe, let's say, the male version mm -hmm. um i'm not i'm not uh, yes i i hope i do not offend men i'm not even offending them mm -hmm. yes i'm just saying maybe probably males have a certain perception of us mm -hmm. and we also tend to make it look true mm -hmm. yeah i like that you're balancing this <laughs> i really like it uh -huh. yes so the issue is they take something how they see it and we tend to also kind of not show them that that's not it mm -hmm. um so maybe yes you'll find that from history if you just keep from school uh the beautiful girls mm -hmm. mm, they always pole pole mm -hmm. because slowly slowly <laughs> take her thing no hurry, hurry no in life, hurry in life no. <laughs> <laughs> yes and and Okay, let me like use an example of, of, of Uganda. So for us, I don't know, okay, the, the school system ends at form six, like high school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you find that we have arts and then sciences. So we have those combinations. I don't know if you have them here in Kenya, but like you can choose to do the arts or the sciences. Mm -hmm. So because this course, once you go through, then you go to university and you choose a course that will be either arts or still sciences. Mm -hmm. So you'll find that most of the times, the science class, um, 
does not usually have it usually has like okay the people they consider pretty let me just quote it like that mm-hmm. So you find the arts class is the one that has those hot babes, the mm-hmm. ones they consider hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then the science class will have those who are, mm, mm, okay. <laughs> <ones. laughs> <personalized> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, at the end of the day, so maybe uh, we have something they call high school prom in my school. They used to call it social, social dance. Mm. So uh, it's so weird how even in mixed school, the guys in the science class will not choose their own their <laughs> own classmates. They'll, they'll go, go and choose arts, they'll the go and class. choose from the arts class uh-huh. uh, dates to the to the dance. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, you guys sit with babes in your class. Every Why day. are you coming to, uh. <laughs> to the arts section? So I'm just saying it we make it seem like that. And then also the problem is maybe as females we will outcast like those people and be like she's boring hi she doesn't even want to do anything mm. and then the, the issue is we are affecting her self esteem mm. she's smart mm-hmm. that's true so you find that she cannot articulate anything out like so now uh, maybe coming to the issue that you said mm-hmm. about uh, as yet mm-hmm. yes I've, I've watched her on tiktok on instagram mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah maybe um yes everyone will think she's beautiful but maybe or they've not sat down to actually imagine how how it has helped what has helped her to come up to come up yes maybe yes she's good at dancing mm-hmm. it is a talent let mm-hmm. her embrace her talent but she also has brains alongside mm-hmm. her talent <laughs> what do you think Okay. <laughs> okay, as for me, she, she have talked a lot. <laughs> That's why I'm okay. waiting for you to talk also. <laughs> okay, um, as for me, we need, like, um, as for your question, uh, we need, like, to, to change the mentality of man, like, to treat that well. Mm. Okay, so l- let me just take my example we from the school in my country. In my country, it's very different in Kenya because I, I've seen in Kenya that they are just the school only for girls. Mm. But in my country, we mix them when we are starting with the gardenry until the university. You don't have mix. any schools that are all girls. <laughs> no, <laughs> we don't. I am moving to We mixed. <laughs> huh? We don't have boarding school. We don't you have, don't have boarding, boarding school. school here yeah, because you know we have visited uh, Pungoma last yes. week. Oh. So we visit the uh, boarding school. All of them are girls. So I was ah, such <laughs> oh, <God>. a shock. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have in my country and and you know i was very shocked i want to be like them uh, you want to what I to be like them to be at the boarding school uh, 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 you know because uh, we've been like uh, studying with boys they just like hey you uh-huh. every time so, like we have different kinds of boys there so i want to be like the 14 one <laughs> I want to be like you, you want to be like us. Yes. Like, uh-huh. Okay, so we mixed boy and girl. So we start at school to teach them like uh, how to like the gender equality. Mm. Yes, we teach them. But so now the problem is the the old the oldest man. They are already they didn't we didn't teach them like um to to put this discrimination because okay, let me just put the word discrimination, but it's not like discrimination. Mm-hmm. Okay, discrimination, like, uh, for example, as a woman, you can't work at the bank. Mm-hmm. You're not supposed to be a bank manager. You're supposed to be a secretary. Wow. Okay, mm-hmm. so every time I hear that, the first time I'm looking for a job in my country, that was, ah, I cried a lot. You know why? Oh. I, I, I just sent my letter yeah. and my CV in the bank. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they said, okay, as for you, yes, you do many things, but we can't recruit you as our manager. Mm-hmm. So I said, why? Mm-hmm. And the person, the boss said, we have never had a woman as a manager. Mm-hmm. Wow. So they just leave me like that. Wow. But after that, I was, okay, I need to find another one. Mm-hmm. But every bank, they just say the same thing. So I just want to, like, how if we just organize something for only for men to teach them like how to treat mm. women? <laughs> mm. yeah. Or we start, if we don't have that change, we, we are going to, to start with our little boys. Mm. So we just teach them how we are equal 
because I like this equality of man and woman. Sometimes we, we are so like um, discriminated girl of playing sport. Like as you, you are a girl, you can't play football, for example. Uh -uh. You can't play basketball. So that's why I create like, I like basketball very much. Uh -huh. I can play. So now I started like, okay, this is only for boy? Okay, I can do it also. Mm -hmm. So I trade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's for me. Mm -hmm. I, like I, like, I like how you, that doesn't put you down. I like how you keep yeah. trying and trying. Yeah. You don't have boarding school. I'm still we on the do. boarding school. You don't. I was very shocked. They said there are only 2,000, 2,000 she girls. She was so amazed by a boarding ah. school. 2,000 girls? Only girls. Uh. Oh no, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All she right. She wants to go back to high school here in Kenya. Yeah. Ah! Only 14 school, only girls there. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you take me to Madagascar. We'll, we'll make it our we own can personal. Exchange. Yes. Like, yes. Uh, we stay. Yes. You go. Yes. Of course. I, I can. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I have, to, I have to wind up now. Now, time flies when we're having fun. Maybe yeah. give me your last remarks if you want to say hi to someone or if you want to address maybe the people on TV, give <laughs> a short motivational something to the girls out there watching, if you'd like. Okay, I, I would like to, to say, like, we celebrate the International Women's Day 2023 at uh, Kiambu mm -hmm. with the... Um, at Kiambu County with, with the Kiambu Government County. Mm -hmm. So you can join us. <laughs> yeah, you can join us there mm -hmm. <laughs> because after this uh, TV, we go there oh. to celebrate. And also, we have uh, we are going to make a, to train an activity pack about uh, International Women's Day mm -hmm. at Salama Primary School. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're having fun. You you like yeah. see we we <laughs> <laughs> <And> you know <laughs> also <coughs> uh -huh. also. Um, we invite all young women and young girls to come and join the guiding movement. Mm. Trust me, if it's Isn't not it? fun, it's not guiding, <laughs> just even Val is going to join us. Yes. And mm -hmm. at any age, guys, it's, it's at any age, just let your daughters and, and, and what? Yes, and wives mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. moms, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anyone can join the movement. We are going to be having a lot of programs until, okay, personally in July, she's living in December. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, you get access to very different platforms. So follow us on all our social media platforms at Yes Girls Movement Kenya. And you can visit us at Aboretum. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's where our association okay. offices are. Uh, if you want, do you want our personal <laughs> <laughs> media <laughs> handles? Uh, has is quite uh, her surname is quite difficult, but <laughs> you can you can follow me and then you, you follow can follow me. her, uh -huh. <laughs> Agnes Muhindo, on my Facebook, uh, at ninety eight on Instagram. Yeah, uh -huh. you can use those two. I really okay. want to ask now what your surname is. What's your surname? Rafa Kinyain. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> Rafa Kinyain. Okay. Rava Kinyang. Yes. Oh! <laughs> yes. On the first try. Okay, but I would not know how to spell it. But it will, we'll, we'll discuss uh, yeah. that yes. off air. Yes. You, thank you so very much for letting us host you. Thank you for allowing us into your space. Again, it is the 8th day of March 2023, International Women's Day. Appreciate somebody you know, uh, gives you warm feelings inside or something like that or something special. Or maybe if you don't have someone like that, just, you know, compliment someone today on the road. We, we go through a lot, guys. Yes. We go through a lot. Just compliment yes. some lady today when you see them walking by. All right. Thank you so very much. Again, you can interact with us at Y25 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. Hashtag of the day has been WCW or Wine Morning. We will see you tomorrow with one Stephanie Ayeta for hashtag Thursday Vibes. Now, until then, please keep it Y254 channel because we have amazing stuff coming up. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.